Salzburg's Liquid Gold. And from Austria's private state brewery, we have a bottle of Stiegel Goldbrow coming in at 5% ABV. Now, I got this from the House of Trembling Madness. It was about three quid, two, three quid a bottle. I can't remember that. It wasn't expensive. Um, so, the Austrian private state brewery Stiegel, the house by the steps. As you can see, it has the steps on the logo there, the house by the steps. Um, been brewing since the 16th of June, 1492. And they do produce some good beers, um, apart from the gluten-free one that we had last week. Um, yeah, all right, but proper beers, proper beers. Every one I've had so far has been good, apart from the gluten-free. So take that how you want to take it, you know. Um, it's the biggest brewery in Salzburg. Um, apparently Mozart drunk steel beer, you know. Um, there we go. A um, little few facts about the place. Um, it's been destroyed by fire, rebuilt. Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting read, the history of this brewery. But we're here to obviously to review this great beer, the Stiegel, as we call it. I do love that name, Stiegel. I do like the, the emblem of Stiegel beers. They look very like they should be like in like Castle Colditz or Cold War. It's that sort of time and it, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful logo. Um, especially when you get like this one here. This this bottle here. It, I think that's got one of the best labels on a bottle ever. Great, isn't it? How great is that? So without further ado. Let's crack this one open. Let's get it into a glass and let's give it a review. Like I say, I'm expecting a lot from this beer because they're always pretty damn good. Look at that. That's a half litre bottle, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Right. First impressions. It's golden. It's clear. It's got a beautiful three finger tight white foam head. Let's get the aromas. I'll tell you what. First impressions of this, it smells like a pilsner. There's a real bitterness there from the hops. There's some breadiness there from the malts. It smells grassy, hoppy, malty, a little bit of pepper. It smells absolutely fantastic. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Oh my word. They call this Salzburg's liquid gold. And I'm gonna tell you what, they're pretty much spot on that first sip. I can tell they've used a strain of the Vienna yeast in this, definitely. It's got that, that Vienna lager, Vienna yeast, which is slightly different to the sort of yeast you have in, in lagers and, and um, pilsners in Germany. It's more of a sort of a richness to a Vienna, the Vienna yeast, that strain of yeast they use. The carbonation is bonkers. It's keeping its head well. Um, 
Is it a lager? Is it a pilsner? This is what I'm, I'm trying to work out. It's very Pilsner-esque. But it's got a Vienna Lager vibe to it. It's a bottom fermented beer. So, um, you know, it's definitely of that same family, Lager, Pilsner. It's bleeding awesome. flavours the fresh grassiness the malts that little bit of a pepper back end it's got quite a sweet back end as well it's not dry and it's not bitter looks like a pilsner I'm leaning over to it's more Vienna Lager though it's more Vienna Lager but it's this is a beer to try before you die It's just so refreshing. I cannot fault this beer. Could this be the best beer that Steeg will do? I bet this is their most popular beer. Anyone been to Salzburg and had this? I bet if you go to the Stiegel brew house, this is their most popular beer that they serve. It's awesome. Could this be the best Austrian beer? You know, this, this puts stuff in the UK to shame. You know, Austria's only a little country. And it's putting the likes of the dross we drink to shame. This beer puts, you know, this is from a little country, Austria. And this beer puts the likes of Carlin, Foster's, and all the other shit we get palmed off with in this country to shame. God. Imagine this in your local boozer. It'd be awesome. This is a non-nucleated glass. Non-nucleated. Look at the carbonation rolling in that glass. A non-nucleated glass. All the dross we get served up in the UK, right? Unless it's in a, in, in a nucleated glass, it's flat as a pancake. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. When a little country like Austria can produce a beer like this, you know, all my mates, that have, people I know, drinking Stella and beer Moretti and think this is good, like good beer. Seriously, give your heads a wobble. Seriously, give your heads a wobble. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. This is gorgeous. Full bodied, full flavour, and if you like that from your lager, this is the lager for you. It doesn't feel like it's 5% at all. It does not feel like you're drinking a 5% lager. It's very light, crisp, refreshing. It's lovely, it's brilliant. Um, it's 
this is up there with your Augustina Brows. This is up there with your Tagernseys, you know, your great lagers from Germany. This is up there. It sits with them and can hold the same podium as them. So look, get your ass down to House of Trembling Madness and get yourself a bottle of this. You will not be disappointed with a bottle of this. Get yourself a bottle, try it, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I can't remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.